Hey guys, so um today we're gonna be doing um and I was planning on doing a geometry dash video today, but instead we're gonna do a reaction video. Uh uh I'm sorry, but whatever. Uh okay, let's just start. By Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to Wix.com slash go people deemed a threat to government, rulership, or even religion. While crushing people's heads in medieval vices certainly doesn't happen anymore, the world is still home to some barbaric punishments today. Okay. Even in the most developed countries, you have things such as waterboarding or the brain wreck of being imprisoned in isolation. Caning, which still happens in some countries, has been called beyond ex Even in the most developed countries, you have things such as waterboarding or the brain wreck okay. of being imprisoned in isolation. Caning, which still happens in some countries, has been called beyond excruciating, while being stoned to death, we can imagine, must be an awful way to go. In 2008, reports emerged about a 13-year-old Somalian girl that had been buried up to her neck and stoned to death by 50 men. Her crime? Reporting a rape. Today we'll explore more yeah. insane meanness yeah. in this episode of the Infographic yeah. Show, Worst Punishments That's in the nasty, History of Mankind, bro. Part 2. Yeah. Number 10, The Brazen Bull. Also known as the Sicilian Bull, this brutal punishment was around in ancient Greece. Yeah. How do we know? Okay. The Greek historian Diodorus Sicilus wrote about it in one of his many yeah. history books yeah. that covered yeah. various yeah. cultures of the time. Yeah. He writes yeah. that a bull would be yeah. fashioned out of bronze to almost the same size as a real bull. There was a door yeah. in the side of the thing, through which people who were given the death penalty would be shoved. A fire was then lit under the bull, and the person was roasted to death. It's even said that the bull was designed in a way so that the screams would be emitted to onlookers. If this sounds bad, well, by the end of the show, you might be thinking it wasn't such a bad way to die after all. Number 9, Iron Maiden. You might have already heard of the name if you're into heavy metal music. The band got their name from a torture device. Like many contraptions of torture, historians dispute when and how it was used, but you can certainly find Iron Maidens in museums today. It's thought that the first of them was a 14th century Germanic invention, but throughout the following centuries, many historians would write about these devilish things. They kind of look like an Egyptian mummy, but the inside of the door is festooned with spikes. When it's closed, the person in the casket is impaled. As we said, some historians write that these things may not have been used or used often, but they certainly existed. Others write that they were talked about a lot in the 18th and 19th centuries to show how barbaric people used to be and how much better they were in their era. Number 8, Crucifixion. We probably should have included this in the first show, as it is a terrible way to die. As you'll know from reading Christian history, crucifixion involved tying or nailing a naked person to a wooden beam. The person would then be left to die slowly. That's how Jesus Christ ended up. What you might not know is that there were many ways to crucify a person. Perhaps a good scenario was being nailed to a tree, but much worse was being impaled on a spike and left to die. Even in ancient history, some people thought this was too much, with Roman philosopher Cicero calling it a most cruel and disgusting punishment. If you didn't die of shock or sepsis or dehydration, then the animals around might feast on you. You might also not know that it wasn't just popular in ancient times. The Japanese crucified people in the 16th century, the Burmese in the 19th century, and in some parts of the Middle East, crucifixion is still a legal punishment. Number 7, Spanish Donkey. This is a donkey no man or woman would ever want to ride. If you saw our first show, the way someone would be tortured is similar to that of the Judas Cradle. Prisoners would be sat on what looks like a triangular shaped block of wood. This wood might have nails on the ridge. They would be lowered down onto the sharpened ridge and sometimes pulled down by weights, which would cause excruciating pain. Some sources say this could result in the person being cut apart and dying. Others say it just crippled a person. The French called it the Chevalet, or horse. A History Channel documentary says such a device was used during the American Civil War okay. to torture Confederate prisoners. These prisoners would pass out from pain and sometimes be disabled for life. Number six, breast ripper. These awful things look like two pronged forks, similar to the fangs of a snake, except they were made from iron. Featured in the book Victims and Values, A History and a Theory of Suffering, it said they would be heated up and then used to rip off a woman's breasts as a punishment. This would cause severe scarring and the loss of breasts, but the infection that ensued would often kill the woman. The website Medieval Times and Castles writes, this instrument was mostly reserved for women nasty. accused of conducting I, 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 a honestly, miscarriage or those so. accused of adultery. There are some so far, I think that the worst one has to be the first, has to be the crucifixion. I don't know. That's my take. I don't know. 
reports that ISIS used a similar instrument on a female victim in 2014, except they called it the biter. The biter was used, according to reports, because some women were accused of not wearing the correct dress. Number that five, what? crocodile shears. Men, of course, did not escape such barbaric punishments related to their manhood. Crocodile shears were iron tubes with teeth on the inside. They would be heated up and clamped on a man's penis as if it was the mouth of a crocodile. This would result in castration, but again, in those days... So my man lost a D? Nah, nah, that must not feel nice, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Such a punishment often meant a slow death from infection. Mm. Medieval times and castles writes, the crocodile shears had a very specific purpose, to mutilate those who attempted to assassinate the king. One other writer tells us, after ripping off the penis, they would rip off other things like your fingers or toes. Attempting to, or actually killing a king, regicide, was considered the worst of the worst. And so of course it warranted a punishment which would prevent any man from ever trying it again. It could have been worse. You could have gotten the iron comb. This was a heavy comb with sharp spikes run over the flesh until there wasn't much of you left. People often got combed, and then if that didn't finish them, they lost their heads. Number four, the Chinese torture chair. Okay, so this is another piece of horror apparatus that may have been used only to scare the living daylights out of a populace. Oh. Jigsaw, from the Saw franchise, would have been envious of this chair had he been real, of course. We actually found one of them on a museum website with the present owner listed. So, they did exist. The chair is made from wood with 12 steel blades in the arm, back and footrests, and seat. It's said in Europe a chair was used, although we refer to that simply as the iron chair. This might have had 500 to 1500 spikes for the victims to sit on. Sometimes hot coals would be placed under the chair for added pain. One historian writes, the spikes did not penetrate vital organs and blood loss was minimized at least until the person was released from the chair. We can't imagine the outcome was good once the prisoner was released. Number three, Chinese water torture. You might be thinking, what is this doing here among instruments that cause extreme physical pain? Well, perhaps being sent crazy, slowly, might be even worse than losing a body part or two. The torture consists of slowly dripping water on one part of the head, and apparently, after enough time, this will become absolutely unbearable making the victim mad. Mythbusters tried it out to see if it indeed works, and the person didn't last long at all. After not even two hours, he asked the experiment to stop, complaining of claustrophobia and shoulder spasms, and saying he was starting to crack up. Imagine days of this. Skeptics are not sure it would be so effective. There's only one way to find out. Number two, coffin torture. The problem with this is the fact that it took you ages to die. It was very popular in the Middle Ages and used to scare people away from committing crimes. Victims would be hung up from a beam or tree inside a kind of coffin, a wooden prison with holes in it. It would be so small that the person was bent into a painful position. This they were feels more like humiliation less than like uh, torture. Um, honestly, I still think the crucifixion is the worst one. I think it should be number one, but whatever. Then just left there. People might throw stuff at them, prod them with sticks, okay. etc., and they would stay there until they slowly died. Even yeah. after death, they were left there until the birds had picked apart their flesh and there wasn't much of them left. The lucky ones were allowed down alive if their crime wasn't so bad, perhaps. And finally, number one, scaphism. One of the more creative tortures that has ever existed, this Persian method of execution is like no other. According to the book One Bloody Thing After Another, The World's Gruesome History, the victim was forced to eat a large amount of milk and honey, so much he would throw up, attracting ants and vermin. He was also covered in honey. Apparently, most of this honey would be smeared around the eyes, nose, mouth, and genitals, and also in the ears and the anus. He would then be tied between two boats in a stagnant piece of shallow water, where he would be feasted on by all manner of insects and four-legged scavengers. One Byzantine historian wrote, Moreover, his belly, distended as it is with milk and honey, throws off liquid excrements, and these putrefying breed swarms of worms, intestinal and of all sorts. Thus, the victim lying in the boats, his flesh rotting away in his own filth and devoured by worms, dies a lingering and horrible death. He is basically eaten from the inside out, or he might be lucky to die sooner than that. One of the most cruel punishments we didn't include in this list is forcing someone to browse through the thousands of terribly designed websites online right now. But thanks to Wix, you can make sure- Okay, I guess we're down here. Honestly, I think the worst one was the crucifixion, but that's just my thing. Uh, if you guys want to watch this video, it's like, I mean, like, you can, but like, yeah, okay, I guess bye for now.